guys, welcome to Steelo's Ranch. Hey, it's in here at uh, dark o'clock. And what I wanted to do is test a couple of lights that we've just had come through. Because you hear lots about lights on the marketplace and um, I don't think too many people do a fair comparison across the board. So what we've got, we've just got a, um, a really cool couple of lights from Sniper Hog. So um, I've just put a picture up earlier, but this is the Cody Cannon. This is the mother of all lights, you know, for those that are really scared of the dark. We've got the... Uh, Sniper uh, Hog uh, Gun Hunters Kit in the uh, in the normal Sniper Hog Light. And just as a bit of a comparison, I thought I'd bring out an Olight Javelot Pro. So, um, you know, we sell a lot of these. Uh, not too many of these. These are probably more for the high end. The difference is, uh, if you have a look, if you have a look, um, the Sniper Hog Lights come with interchangeable red, green, blue uh, LED chips. So, you know, the difference is with these lights, you screw the, the white light that uh, that's in it, Screw it in, screw it out, and swap in a green or red. Um, if you don't want so much brightness for the uh, the animal that you're hunting, their, their eyes, these are really good things. The Olight has filters, um, which we, we'll throw on um, during the test, and we'll see the difference in between the filters that the Olight runs um, and the difference that LED makes. So we've got a couple of obstacles. I know you can't see them, but they're out there somewhere. Um, we've got a little bit of a tree line at a, at a good couple hundred metres out. We've got some banks and some sheep yards further down. So we're going to see that. Um, we're going to fire these lights up and do an actual side-by-side -side comparison to um, to how they are. Um, again, I'm, I'm not paid by anyone to do these uh, reviews. I don't make any more money off any particular light. But I'm just interested in seeing the process, um, seeing what's out there for you guys, um, and, and making sure that in the shop we're selling the right product for you. So, um, yeah, bear with us. Stand by, and we're going to test some lights, eh? So the first one's a lot Olight Javelot Pro. Uh, what's cool about this is a bit of a price point uh, item. It's not super expensive out of the realms of possibility. But as you can see, we'll scan around some trees. Uh, they're about the 200, 200 uh, metres away. A few cars running out there tonight as well. Uh, we've got some trees. What I'm going to try and do is hopefully get the same sort of view out of every light. So I don't know whether you can see it on the camera where that brings it up. There's a bank down there uh, in the paddock. We had a quick um, Google Maps. That's um, a good sort of 600 yards away. Um, down to a dam bank and another little tree line there. Do you see over the tree? There you go. Wicked. Cool. Cool. So the sniper hog light, the uh, the little guy, uh, I think it's a 66 uh, LRX. Look, cool things about these is that they will, um, they're either a, a spot beam, which is which is super bright. <laughs> Some boys on the ridge line over me going for a shoot tonight, which is cool. Uh, he's super bright, so you can you can uh, screw these right down, and they are like a pinprick, uh, which is obviously required, which is really good for the IR. So if you're going to use these in conjunction with a uh, with a night vision, um, they're really really good for that because uh, it's such a tight beam. But as you can see, shining around, oh, and it spreads up, so you can open open it right up and and flood an area. Or you can close him down and pick a, pick a spot to your size and your liking. I don't know whether this, this light's probably a bit too bright. I reckon it washes out a bit of the feature. Uh, we're looking at the banks before and notice that you can pick up a lot more with the, uh, with the O-light. Uh, even though it's not as bright a light. Um, but you, you could sort of, your eyes worked a little bit better with it. Um, although the spot is definitely bright on this. If you've got a if you've got a feature that you want to see, oh, there's a hay shed. I was trying to find it before. So if you've got a feature that you want to see, so that hay shed's probably a good uh, six, seven hundred metres away over a set of sheep yards that are down in there somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, if you've got a if you've got a feature that you want to see, this will definitely pinpoint it and get it out there. Cool. We'll look for the big girl next. Cool. So the last one, the Coyote Cannon. So we'll crank this big girl up. So uh, look, out of the box, this is this is the dearest lot of them all. Uh, it's quite heavy, so it's going to put a bit of weight on the gun if you're using it. But these uh, hog lights are all made out of like uh, alley, so they're um, they're handcrafted, uh, not handcrafted, they're machine crafted out of alley. Um, they're quite bulky, and um, you know it's good. It's not a bad build. Um, they are what they are. But look, it throws a fair bit of light out again. Um, very very bright. The hay shed's down there nice and easy to see now, which is easy. And it's got a very easy spread uh, function on this one. It's, it's, it's very uh, 
very easy to find in the dark and very easy to use with your fingers. So you can spread the beam down to whatever you want um, and whatever's easy to use, which is, which is easy. So a couple of trees in the tree line there, they're about 100 away. Um, you know, you can screw it down, screw it up nice and easy. And on the hog lights, you can also dim it as well. So if it is a bit bright for your eyes, you can dim this down, or if animals are starting to hop away, you can just dim it down so you can see their eyes, um, which is a really good feature to have. Cool. It's like changing a nuclear reactor wall. Cool. So uh, we're throwing the red filter on. We're going to try the red chips in the lights and see how we go. The O light's on the brightest at the moment. There's a car down there, but anyway, he'll, he'll work it out. So you can barely see the trees down there at a couple hundred metres with the red filter, the O light. The sniper hog light, let's crank him up. So nice strong red beam out of the, out of the, uh, out of the start. Yeah, look at that bad boy. So with the chip, a couple hundred metres, nice and easy. Nice and easy, not a problem at all. So you'd pick up a fox body, nice and easy there, under those trees, not a problem at all. Uh, and I don't know whether you can see it in the camera, but I can make out that bank that's at a good, probably 400 yards, or 400 metres, close enough. The second bank, I uh, can't quite see, but the first bank's nice and easy there. Oh no, holy crap, that's the second bank. So that's the second bank that's at about um, 600 yards. So we'll drop that out. Can you hear the rabbit? Yep. Can you hear the rabbit though? I can. And this is the big girl. Uh, And there is definitely a lot more red light there. I don't know whether you can hear it in the background. Some poor bunny's <laughs> copping or hiding somewhere in the paddock and just started screaming. So that is actually really cool on red. Like really, really cool. So there's a heap of eyes. That, I don't know whether you can see them in the film either. But uh, that's I've got some sheep in sheep yards down there. That'd be a good 600 metres away. Um, and it's got them, sorry, bunny, it's got them uh, like there's no tomorrow. Uh, and the banks are, are no dramas at all with this red light. It shines unbelievable. Um, even on the flood, it's quite cool. So this is the, uh, the big girl. So you can get these by, with a side-by-side -side comparison. So the sniper hog, sniper hog in the middle, big girl on the left, and the uh, and the O light by comparison. Cool. Okay. Cool. So uh, we're back. We'll throw some green on. So same place, same paddock with the green light. It's also very interesting to see the contrasting of colours. That, uh, that come through that eyes pick up. So quite often everyone's, uh, you know, for the last little bit says, go red, go red, you see really good on red. Now this is a green O-light lens filter. And uh, I don't know about you, but I can quite clearly see a lot more of the paddock with less glare with the green on. Definitely see more better vision. So we'll check, check this with a sniper hog. Go straight on the sniper hog with green. And there is indeed better vision. Uh, 
Um, and when you narrow them down, you can see for ages. So I can still see the hay shed that we could see on white light. Um, it looked a bit washed out before on the white light, but on the green, fine. I can see, still see the same banks, make it out. And uh, remember, when we were spotlighting, all we're really looking for is just a glint of highlight. Um, so I have got no dramas. I mean, it'd be good if a fox wandered across the paddock now, but I've got no dramas thinking that that would, um, that would light up a set of fox's eyes. So that was the, um, the sniper hog. Big Bertha, the coyote cannon. I just like the name Bertha. I think we should change it. Coyote cannon, look at that. Jeez, it throws some light. Absolutely throws some light. So look at that. On green. Here we go for miles. No dramas at all. Oh, that is down the bank there. So, banks. We got sheep in sheep yards down there and I'm getting a glint of highlight. I don't know whether you can see it through the camera where that picks it up, but um, and there's a big hay shed behind it. So, no dramas with a coyote cannon. What I'll do side by side. I need an extra hand. But anyway, we'll pump that up. We'll try and get it about the same. Same focus, same beam. Oop. So we've got the Coyote Cannon on the left. The um, Sniper Hog in the middle. And the O-Light on the right. So O-Light, Sniper Hog in the middle and Coyote Cannon. And as you can see, there's a little bit of difference out the light, which you'd hope because there's a bit of a price difference, but you'd hope there's a difference. Cool. So a quick wrap up and conclusion, guys. So everyone's going to go, well, which torch do I buy, Steelo? You know what? Which one do I like? The, they're going to be different lights for different products. And I know that's not the answer that everyone wants um, because there's no perfect light solution. Otherwise, it'd all run the same. This is the beauty of life. It's so much choice. If money's no option and you want something that's dirty, great, big, and fat, the Coyote Cannon is definitely a winner. Um, it's got the best light by far. Um, I found that adjusting it was the easiest out of all the lights to get the spread in the, um, the spot. So it's just a simple twist of the, of the outer bezel here. Um, changing globes is very simple. The globes and the chips are very big, so it's something you can change at night time if you're on the ute or in the dark. Um, very, very broad. It's very, very well made. There's no doubt about that. Um, it comes with a scope mount um, that's kind of fixed. Um, so these used to come with like an adjustable scope mount. There's no need to adjust a spot near. It, it, it throws out enough light. You'll be in there somewhere. Um, it runs on one single battery. Um, which is which is cool, and it's got a dimmer switch, which is again is, is very handy. Um, so you can dim that light down. So this is definitely probably my go-to favourite for a light mounted a light mounted torch. Although the downside is it is very heavy, and obviously it costs a little bit. Somewhere in the middle is a good little sniper hog. Um, what I like about this, oh, we didn't test LED chips because it's hard to test. Um, you won't see it, I won't see it, but it's out there. So the sniper hog, he comes with a couple of different LEDs. He's a lot more usable, a lot more user friendly. Um, comes with probably the most options. So it comes with a dimmer switch. It comes with a tail switch mount. Uh, one single battery gives you a separate one. So that's that's to run through for your tail switch mount. Nice and easy. Um, dust covers, you know, they come in a nice fancy case. This is not bad. The light output out of this was 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 very, very good as well. Um, and you can spot and spread it. You know, really cool. Really cool if you want that pinpoint accuracy. If you're running night vision, any sort of night vision, these two are going to be definitely your go-tos. Um... The, the last one on the list, and, and he's probably the unsung hero in this, so he's a lot cheaper compared to these two. He's a little Olight Javelot Pro. What I like about this is that it's a good light for normal. Um, the features, it's on off on the back, dim on the front, so you dim it down, not on a dial. Um, scope mounting is very, very simple on this one, so it's just one of these little scope mount clips, which is a lot faster than these. These are, are kind of like a mount-on system, and they take a little bit to mount off um, via, uh, via a pick rail. Um, but this is very, very quick. So you can change this between rifles you own very, very quick. Um, the last thing I love about this one is it's contactless charging. So you can have that in the ute, um, USB charge it, contactless charge on your way to a joint or wherever. These guys have got a separate battery, uh, an, an additional battery with a kit, which is really handy. But uh, I'm a big fan of contactless charging. I think it's uh, definitely the way of the future. Um, and he also he's got his contactless pressure switch. So on off on the pressure switch, really, really good. He's probably more of a torch than a spotlight, like a high powered torch than a spotlight. These are probably more spotlights than a torch. Um, he's, this one's a little bit more lightweight. And he's got a couple of other little features that I like as a torch. These are definitely gun mounted spotlights that are definitely cool. Uh, if you'd like any of these, uh, give us a ring, give us a bell, jump on our website. If you want to see another little review of something uh, on Steelo Ranch out in the darkness, 
give us a buzz. Let us know what you'd like to see and we'll, uh, we'll run something up for you. Thanks, guys. Bye.